In this video, I'm going to go over gold versus copper and why, according to stage analysis, copper was at a much better buy point recently than gold. On my website at nextbigtrade.com, I have an article which goes over criteria to go over when selecting ideal candidates to buy using the stage analysis system. I also have the stage analysis screener which is a tool I've developed to help uh, refine the buying process and really find the best sectors and the best stocks within those sectors that are leading the market and the stocks that you want to get into to find big winners using stage analysis. Now looking at the gold market, if we go over this criteria, the first bullet is are the major indexes in stage two and, and for gold that would really be GLD and GDX. The answer to this question is no. GLD and GDX are in stage three and stage four so they're nowhere near where you want to see them which is breaking out into stage two. Now are, are GLD and GDX in the leading sector? If you look at the stage analysis screener and if you sort on sectors and sort by percentage in stage two you can see that the silver and gold stock sectors are basically at the bottom of basic materials which indicates that they are definitely not you know leaders in the market currently now earlier this year silver and gold stocks were far and away market leaders but over the last three or four months, we've seen a big correction in gold and silver stocks. And, um, you know, another rally is, is going to need to take place to really push these sectors back up to a market leader. So they're nowhere near the top of the market right now. Now, are gold and silver, you know, G GLD and GDX, are they above their 30 week moving average? The answer to that is no. Is their 30-week moving average in an uptrend? No. Is Are they at an ideal buy point? Are they breaking out above the 30-week moving average or pulling back to that ideal breakout point? No. And currently they both have overhead resistance now since they've undergone this big correction. So looking at a chart of gold, we can kind of go over some of this and we can see that gold is now below a declining 30-week moving average and really nowhere near the buy point you want to see which is the breakout above on a big increase in volume which confirms a new advancing phase so what needs to happen here for the gold market is really more repair of the recent damage and another kind of a basing phase develop before we can see the gold market resume and potentially become a market leader once again. Now one thing that I've seen recently in, in the chart of gold and related stocks is that you know after the election there was a massive increase in volume on the downside which tends to indicate um, at least a short-term bottom with the amount of really capitulation type of selling and big spike in volume. Usually you see that occur in tandem with at least a short-term bottom. So that's one positive for gold. Another positive is it's at a uh, support level of 1200, which has held in the past. Looking at GDX, once again, we see that capitulation type volume and GDX is reaching support that was a former congestion zone back in March. Once again, GDX is below the moving average. The moving average is now declining, and there's really no market leadership here. And the reason that really the gold sector has come under pressure, one of the main reasons is the strength in the U.S. dollar. The dollar has really um, been advancing sharply over the last six or seven weeks, and it is short-term overbought, probably due for a pullback. But the structure of this market now is one of a stage two advance, which overall, as long as this is occurring, will put further pressure on gold and gold stocks. 
Now looking at copper, we can see that copper is at a different position than gold, and copper recently broke out above the 30-week moving average on a massive increase in volume. So going over that same criteria, are the major stock indexes in stage two? Well, for copper metal and copper stocks, the answer is yes. Is the stock in a leading sector? If you look at copper stocks across the board, along with the metal, they're all in stage two. So the answer to that question is yes. Is the stock above its 30 week moving average? Again, across the board, copper and copper stocks are above the 30 week moving average. So the answer is yes. Is the 30 week moving average in an uptrend? Yes. Is the stock at an ideal buy point? For copper and copper stocks, this occurred a couple weeks ago, but basically across the board, the metal and stocks in the sector all broke above the 30 week moving average on a big increase in volume. Are the stocks outperforming the major indexes? Yes. And do the stocks have minimal to no overhead resistance? This is the one thing where some of the copper stocks are better than others, but overall they have at least 50% or less overhead resistance according to the stage analysis screener which are good candidates for buying in stage two breakouts. So looking at the copper stock ETF, again, we can see that, you know, technically we did have kind of a stage two breakout earlier this year, but it took a while for copper and the copper stocks to really, you know, accelerate this stage two advance. And that occurred over the last few weeks with you know, most notably the big rally I think during the week of the election. Looking at Freeport McMoran, which is one of the leading copper miners, you can see that Freeport McMoran had a big increase in volume a couple weeks ago, is outperforming the S&P 500, and is kind of reaching a former resistance point that, you know, it's testing this area for the third time, which is makes it a more likely place where it's going to break out. So that's bullish and there's not a lot of uh, overhead resistance again after it breaks out so overall definitely bullish action in this stock HUD Bay Minerals which is another copper producer it has the same or similar chart to FCX where it broke out earlier this year had a consolidation at the 30 week moving average and then broke out again on a massive increase in volume uh, doing about 3 million shares a couple weeks ago on an average volume of about 1 million shares. So three times average volume on this stock. And looking at Northern Dynasty, again, this stock has actually got a really nice looking chart with a long stage one base, massive breakout on a huge volume earlier this year, a pullback to the 30 week moving average. And once again, absolutely enormous volume doing six times average volume two weeks ago um, in a massive surge higher out of the consolidation zone and is consolidating once again so far this week and full disclosure I am long this stock so hopefully this video kind of gives a good example of two different markets and how you can use the stage analysis process and the screener to really find leading sectors in the market and, and from there find leading stocks and really the goal is to stay positioned in leading sectors and kind of rotate with the markets as you know some sectors come into favor and others kind of you know consolidate and correct and maybe come back into favor again in the future like what could potentially happen to gold further down the road but for right now we've got other sectors in the market that are leading and that we really want to pay attention to